Good morning, boys and girls and mums and dads and carers at home. And welcome to George Mitchell's Star of the Week Assembly yet again. And as you can see, today I am outside the nursery. And when I look inside the nursery and I can't see any children in there, it makes me feel really sad. So I'm really looking forward to the day when um, I can see all your lovely faces again back in the nursery and around the rest of our school. This week it's going to be a little bit different, our Star of the Week. I am going to be announcing some of the Star of the Week certificates, but some of you might get a really nice surprise and notice that your own classroom teacher announces the Star of the Week in their class. I'm going to start by announcing the Star of the Week in the reception classes, and I'm going to start with Cherry Class. And in Cherry Class this week, the Star of the Week is Aya. Now, you have been awarded Star of the Week for completing and producing amazing work every week since the beginning of this. And Miss says that she is so proud to have a hardworking and enthusiastic pupil in Cherry Class who always shows a positive attitude towards learning and she says keep up the brilliant work. In Maple Class, the star of the week this week is Salah. So Miss says thank you Salah for your hard work and dedication to home learning. You have remained focused and enthusiastic to all the tasks that have been set on tapestry. And she says, keep up the brilliant work. The star of the week in Copper Beach class this week is Hippo. And Hippo is my star of the week because she has been working so, so hard. Every day she does her mathletics and her bug club. And we're so proud of the effort she is putting in. So well done, Hippo. Silver Birch, our star of the week this week is Elisa. Elisa has been completing all her mathletics work and reading a book on Bug Club every single day. As well as this, she's been completing our daily and weekly class challenges. So well done Elisa, let's give her a big clap. You are our superstar of the week and well done to everybody in Silver Birch. Bye. The star of the week in Ash class is Dennis and the reason why Dennis is our star of the week is because he's made me extremely proud this week by really making lots of effort with his reading on Bug Club. Not only has he read all the books that I've assigned to him, he has worked really hard with the comprehension, making sure that he's understanding everything he reads and answering the questions beautifully. So well done Dennis, you are our star of the week in Ash class. This week, the Elm Class Star of the Week certificate goes to Alexandra Lynn. She's done a really, really great job with her home learning. I've had a fantastic attitude to learning at home, uh, not only in bug club and athletics, but also with a uh, task set on Class Dojo. So a very big well done. In Year 3 this week, the Star of the Week in Year 3 Hazel Class is Zane. And Miss Hibbert says, you have been awarded Star of the Week, Zane, for your outstanding attitude towards your learning whilst at home. Zane, you complete your tasks daily and always ensure that they are to a high standard. Miss Hibbert is particularly impressed with the reading that you've been doing on Bug Club. In Year 3 Rowing Class, the Star of the Week in Year 3 Rowing Class is Adrian. Now, Mr. Okafor says he has been monitoring Adrian, your progress for a few weeks now, and is impressed with the sheer resilience you have in your heart. He says you are the embodiment of one of his favourite mantras, which is, when there is a will, there is a way. So outstanding work, Adrian. Mr. Okafor and the rest of us here at George Mitchell School are so proud of you. In year four Redwood class, the star of the week this week, is Jamil. So Jamil has a fantastic attitude to home learning. You have shown that you are more than capable of working independently. 
and Miss says, well done to you and keep up all that amazing hard work. Hello everyone. Mr. Newlands has asked me to announce Sycamore's Class Star of the Week. And this week it goes to Isabella. Uh, Mr. Newland says that he has noticed uh, a vast improvement in your attitude towards your learning. He can see that you're doing well with your maths and he can see that you're doing well with your reading too. And uh, he's very, very pleased and he'd love you to keep it up. So well done, Isabella. Hello. So you class's star of the week this week is Osama. Um, I've been really proud of you, Osama, for how well you've adapted to home learning. Uh, you're always pretty much the first person online every day, the first one to say good morning, um, and that really makes me smile every day. Um, you're so generous and kind to your friends, and you're so patient. You always, always help them out, and I really appreciate it. So well done, Osama. Cedar Class's Star of the Week this week goes to none other than Tyler. You have been working so hard this term and I know it's not easy, um, but you have adjusted to home learning really well. You are present on Google Classroom, you are submitting your work daily. Um, I can see how hard you're working on Mathletics and every day you're on there completing your activities as well as your reading on Bug Club. So well done Tyler, I'm so proud of you and keep up the amazing work, well done. In Year 6 Chestnut class this week, the star of the week is Ariane, which I'm really pleased to hear. Now Mr Fag Bamira says, Ariane, he's so impressed with how well you've taken to learning online at home and adapting to using technology a lot more. He says you've had such a productive week on Mathletics and you've even moved up book bands on Bug Club. So keep up the good work. Well done. I'm really, really pleased. Hello, this week's Star of the Week for Willow class is Sheehan. Sheehan always works incredibly hard at anything she turns her hand to. When approaching any situation, I can always rely on her ability to champion our school values to the best of her abilities. I am very thankful to have had her in my class this year and I will miss her when she moves to secondary school next year. Well done Sheehan and keep up the good work. So that brings us again to the end of another Star of the Week assembly and to celebrate those children that have just shone a little bit brighter this week. So congratulations to all of our Stars of the Week and I look forward to um, announcing who is going to be our Stars of the Week next week. Well, maybe some of your teachers will help again with that, which is really nice. So until then, take care of yourselves take care of each other. Remember our school values. They are just as important now as when you are in school. Treat everybody kindly in your household and remember to help your mums and dads and your carers at home. And we look forward to seeing you all as soon as possible when our school is open again. Bye-bye. So